Hello, and welcome to the Weekly Butt Bone. And I'm your host, Brian Butt. Hello, and welcome to the Weekly Butt Bone. I'm your host, Brian Butt. And I'm your co-host, Stephen Butt. And tonight, we will be trying spoonfuls of hot sauce. And then tonight, we also have a very special guest, our friend Dan Carter, who is uh, a local spice enthusiast. He actually did the Blazing Wing Challenge back in 2010, and we have a very cute picture of him. I'm so full. You know me. I'm so, I'm so motherfucking. So uh, we'll dive right in and we'll evaluate these sauces. So first up, we have this ghost pepper wing sauce. So this has habanero, cayenne, ghost pepper. Let's see how this goes. It's good. It's got a fair burn to it. I would say it's pretty spicy. It's not insane. It's not like Blair's Ultra Death Sauce or anything <laughs> like that, but it does have quite a kick. And I put a fair amount on the spoon. The spice is pretty good. I definitely feel the high. So that's a plus. That's always a plus. The flavor is very nice. Um, it's got that ghost pepper flavor, of course but it's not too intense. A lot of times you hear ghost pepper and it scares you because I know you're a pussy and that's fine. <laughs> don't be too afraid of this. Just don't go too crazy because a little bit will work. It has a lot of flavor. It's good. And we actually picked this up at our local Walmart grocery store. It's not like you have to go online. You don't have to go to any crazy websites or order from Amazon. I do recommend that. And then next up, we have the Ass Kickin' Moonshine Pepper Mash. And this is quite the bottle here. It's like a moonshine drug. Oh, so it has a jalapeno mash. Um, and that's it. So it just has jalapeno mash as far as peppers go. But let's see what this is about. I'll let you know if it kicks my ass. <laughs> it's almost like a tomato sauce, to be honest <laughs> with you. If you're not really into spicy things, this might be a good hot sauce for you. It's not really ass kicking as far as spice goes. The flavor is pretty good though. Like if I wanted tomato soup, I might just eat a bowl of this. Cause it's, it, you know, obviously it's gonna be spicier than tomato soup, but, but it does have that sort of tomato soup flavor to it. Good tomato soup though. So yeah, we'll move on to Brian's sauce. Okay, I am doing Black Widow's Kiss and it has in it water, habanero pepper, vinegar, garlic, salt, spices. So let me go ahead and try it. At first I tasted the, the garlic, but now I'm tasting the habanero. It's starting to build. If you're not really into spicy stuff, it might be a seven, but if you're into spicy stuff, it's probably a four. So it's not that spicy. It's not that spicy. Oh, that's your whip. So it does say extra hot and it is habanero. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can feel it. It's it's pretty hot. And if I, if I drank it, I, I'd have a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to whoop ass. Roasted garlic. And this has cayenne pepper. Yeah, just cayenne pepper. Thought it had more than that. It's kind of disappointing, but. <laughs> it's amazing. It kind of tastes like Wagyu. Ragu? Yeah, it tastes like Wagyu spaghetti sauce, but with but a little bit of heat. I'm gonna have to mix spaghetti with this. The spiciness, I gave a three. Unless you're a wimp, then it's probably gonna be a five or a six. But the flavor is amazing. On to the next portion here. Um, <laughs> as our viewers know, our friend Keith Pratt makes his own hot sauce. He was on our last show talking about his hot sauce. He has made this wonderful pineapple hot sauce for us. And this is actually what was in the French press in the last episode. Uh, it was still being made, but now it's ready. And we all kind of tried some already, I'm sorry. We jumped the gun. We were so excited about it. And this stuff is pretty hot. But what we're gonna do today, we're gonna do shots of Keith's pineapple hot sauce. Oh, wow. And we're gonna do it out of these toilet shot glasses. So this is gonna be pretty awesome. This is about what our toilet water will probably look like after we do this. For those of you watching at home. Um... <laughs> That's like my crap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Cheers. Uh, you know what? This isn't enough. All right, so I'm gonna do a double shot. So these are pretty big shot glasses. All right, so it says pineapple, but it also has homegrown jalapenos from Keith's Garden. And these jalapenos are pretty intense. This is a lot of spice. It's just jalapeno, but it's hot jalapeno. So I'm gonna do a full toilet worth. And Brian's gonna do half a toilet worth because he still has to eat the two times spicy ramen. Bottoms up. Oh. 
Ah, holy I just kind of want to take another shot. Dude, I know, right? That's just good. I have to say that went down better than I thought it was because it, it does have a good heat for like chips and stuff. I mean, try it on there. It can feel a little bit intense, but it's not too crazy. And having that massive amount didn't make it uh, unbearable or anything like that. It's still, it's still fairly mild, but it's hot for jalapenos. And that was delicious. <sighs> oh, it was. That was absolutely, I feel like I had a custom made jalapeno pineapple smoothie from Jamba Juice. So next up, we're going to have Brian. Uh, he's going to race our friend Daniel Carter. Um, they're going to do the <coughs> two-time spicy ramen challenge, but with a twist. They are not going to use their hands, just their face. Yeah, it's two times to the eat sauce. this ramen. And it's two times the heat. So now we're ready for Dan, I think. What do you think? I think so. Hills Dan. Welcome, Dan. All right, thanks for having me, Brian. Thank you for coming. So tonight, we're going to be eating this while using our hands. Are you I, talking about this? Yes. Yeah. That stuff right there. Times two. I'm looking forward to it. And this has twice the sauce package. So should we put on our productive goggles so we don't get it in our eyes? Yeah, our PPH. Let's do yes, this. let's do this. <sighs> How do we look? Anybody want to count us down? <laughs> Five, four, three. Two, one, get weird. <laughs> oh, I'm beating you, Ryan. Oh. I know, man. Oh. We can use our hands, though. That's the thing, right? Yeah. We can't pick up the plate, right? No, like this. <laughs> wow. Uh, he's got me beat. My face is on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, I got some up, up my nose, too. Mm -hmm. uh. Sucks. It really sucks. It's hard to forget. <laughs> Brian, Brian. Come on, come on, big bite. Let's go, let's go. I'll finish it, but you know what? Screw this. Let's go. 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 let Spicy stuff ever since I was a little kid. My whole face yeah, is awful. You, you <laughs> <that>. He did. <laughs> I just couldn't get it in my mouth fast enough. Wanna finish that word? No. <laughs> 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 Dude, I did it. Second, guys, I gotta cut these noodles. Oh. Oh, yeah. Blows. Ultra Death Sauce. Goes great on ramen, and it will blow out your butthole. Or gourmet. I admit it, you're more manly than me. Thank you. He's a man's man. <laughs> well, thank you, Dan. Thank you for having me. As you guys can see, Dan's clearly the winner, and he has won this Louisiana hot sauce. Oh my. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for joining us on the Weekly Butt Bone, where we try a sauce that has taste that bones your face. Next up, I have Ass kicking moon pie. Moon pie. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I have ass kicking moonshine pepper. Pep. Fuck. <laughs> so I picked this up at the local Walmart. <laughs> I picked this up at the local Walmart. <laughs> Maybe we can have Steven do a Walmart commercial. I think I missed it. <laughs> Did you know that? The Frankfurt uh, Hot Sauce uh, commercial? I, I, yeah, I missed it. Do you even watch our show? He's the host. I was he doesn't watch the show. I was sitting there. Shit. I got one that went up and then out through my mouth. That's messed up, dude. Oh. <laughs>
But you know what? Screw this. No, I don't.